Now, a wing of the late Lord Montague of Bewley's private apartment is opening to visitors for the very first time. It includes his library with a false bookshelf door, a new family exhibit titled The Lady and the Rebel, as well as an ex exhibition of Russian art. Our reporter, Shan Robbins, went along to find out more. Visitors this summer to Palace House Bewley can get an insight into the life of the late Lord Montague with the opening of a new private wing. This was Lord Montague, the late Lord Montague's private apartment. Um, it includes his library, which was a very personal space for him, um, with his special desk, with the false bookshelf door, and this is the place he would have spent a great deal of his time, particularly in later years in his life. Up until recently would have been the late Lord Montague's sitting room, if you like, where he would have um, watched television, uh, sat at his desk and uh, entertained friends. Edward Douglas Scott Montague, the third Baron Montague of Bewley, died in August last year, aged 88. Chris has been at Bewley for 15 years and was Lord Montague's butler. Later in life, um, I personally would read to him. Um, so we would uh, pick a book out of the bookshelf and I would sit and read. Particularly, actually, liked uh, reading about Winston Churchill. And what was it about Winston Churchill that he found fascinating? I think that there were quite quite a lot of similarities. He knew people that uh, Sir Winston Churchill would have known. He'd been to places, he travelled to places that uh, Sir Winston Churchill would have been to. So there was that connection in the books. He has a paperweight on his desk, which is a cart shotgun cartridge um, with the shot. Um, he was a keen shot. We have a shoot here on the estate and he would always be invited during the winter and the shooting season to friends to shoot partridge and pheasants something that he really enjoyed doing. Every morning he would, when he received his mail, he'd ask for his um, letter opener. Um, so he was still very old fashioned in that way. In the library we have uh, portraits of uh, Lord Montague's ancestors. And we also have two paintings by Antonio Ioli, uh, which were painted as postcards um, of uh, his ancestors' grand hall. The library was originally situated downstairs when it came into Palace House from Ditton Park, a former Montague home near Windsor that was taken over by the Admiralty in 1917. In 1952, when the late Lord Montague opened part of the House of the Public, he had the library moved upstairs, including the false door, to keep it private. The door was facing into the library, so when you were in the library and the door was closed, it just looked like another bookshelf. When we decided to open the library to the visitors, the door would have been facing away from the visitor. So we decided to rehang the door so the visitors are welcomed by the door and by the bookshelf. In the corridor, the Lady and the Rebel exhibition is a personal story told by the current Lord Montague through their words and possessions. These were two um, key Montague women in the family, very close to the current Lord Montague. One was his aunt, one was his grandmother. Very different contrasting characters. Um, one, Pearl, his grandmother, was very conventional, conformed to what was expected of her, both for the estate and for the village of Bewley. Um, uh, the other, um, his aunt, uh, Elizabeth, once she was freed from being the heir to the estate when uh, Edward, her brother, was born, uh, she made the most of that opportunity, travelled widely across Europe, uh, very artistic, um, into making films, into literature, writing, uh, became a model at various points as well. Um, and also, interestingly, Elizabeth uh, also worked for British Intelligence uh, and when war broke out, chose to stay living in Europe. Um, there's a dramatic part of a new film which has been uh, just gone on sale on DVD called The Honourable Rebel, where she's chased by the Gestapo across Europe trying to get back home to Bewley. The family wheel um, was a special gift that the current Lord Montague had made for his grandmother Pearl for her special birthday um, and it features all of the family um, starting from her in the centre of the wheel um, to the outer spokes which are her grandchildren. Further along is the new Art Roos exhibition that continues the Bewley ancestral tradition of collecting art from around the world. This is Shan Robbins for That's Solent.